So today I wanna walk you through what QuickBooks Online kind of looks like and how it functions in case you're somebody who's interested in using this for your small business as well. So my wife and I actually use this for her small business and we use this on a pretty much every single day basis. I come in here and um, kind of finish up all the transactions that have gone through for the last couple of days or weeks and look at our profits and losses that you can kind of see right over here um, as I draw a very terrible arrow. You can see our expenses all at once. Um, we don't do invoicing, but there is invoicing and then all of our bank accounts that are you know, connected here together. So I want to kind of just show you this in a kind of overview so it helps you out. Um, and then hopefully maybe this gets you interested in trying them out. Uh, we've done a few other bookkeeping uh, platforms before, but QuickBooks just works so much better, especially the online version, because we can do it from our phone or um, any pretty much any web browser. So it makes it really, really easy. And if we go through this and you're like, whoa, hey, I really like this as well too, uh, do us a favor, uh, check out the link down below. Um, I'll have it there for you. Uh, that actually does help support us out just like other small business users as well. Um, the cool thing is you will also even get 50% off your subscription for doing that. And you'll also even get a $50 Visa gift card once you've decided to like go through and subscribe as well. So it's a really cool benefit for you. It does help support us out as well uh, while we go through and show you all these different kind of things when it comes to using this platform. So uh, like I mentioned, when you're here logged in, this is like the main portion of the app that you're gonna see. Um, and I say app, but it's also mainly just on the desktop is from what I use. So you can see your profit and loss. Um, so this right over here shows all of your, your net income. So your income minus your expenses and pretty much what you're looking at. It's currently toggled as you can see here for the year, um, but you can put this in for like the day, you can put it in for the week, the quarter, um, you can do last quarter, last month. Um, there's a lot of variables that you can change that to so you can see. Um, you're gonna see right over here, uh, it says how many we have left to review for income and how many we have left to review for expenses. So this is a couple of days for us and our business um, that I have to go through and I'll show you what this kind of looks like to complete so you have a good idea of how that works. So right now, everything that shows up in this profit and loss net is everything that has been done up to these uh, pretty much things that need to still be reviewed. So uh, normally you'll see that income right over here and you'll see the expenses number right over here. The nice thing is too, they'll also do a full breakdown of the expenses here on the next uh, section over here. You can see, of course, it says expenses. It's typically uh, toggled here for the 30 days, but again, you can kind of switch this out in total. Um, you'll have your overall expenses right here, and then it'll have the majority of the breakdown of the different sectors that actually cause it the most, which we have like cost of goods sold, wage expenses, office supplies, all those different things, um, kind of just at a, at a moment's glance, essentially. But again, we can kind of break that down more. Uh, we don't do invoices here, but you can do invoices on uh, QuickBooks Online. So if you wanted to do that, and then the next section right over here is bank accounts. So these are all the banks we have, you know, connected together. Um, so it shows the bank's balance and then in QuickBooks because you have to be reviewing all of these and then uh, reconcile them as well with uh, an accountant. Um, you can see how many things are left to review for each different bank account. So um, you saw earlier with uh, here on the left side where it said like 56 um items to review, um, that's kind of encompassed, uh, encompassed into all of this right over here. So you can see like with our Wells Fargo, we have two things re to review, but the Wells Fargo uh, credit card, uh, that is all reviewed out. So that one is taken care of, nothing else left to do. And then so on with all the rest of these as well too. So you can see all that together. Um, you can see sales here, but again, we don't run any sales, like we don't run invoices here, but you can have them all there. Uh, they do tracking um, as well, but I personally don't do that. Uh, just, you know, being a heads up and being honest about that. Uh, they also have payroll, but I don't do that. I actually use Gusto, which we talk about here on the channel as well. If you guys wanna check them out, I'll have them linked down below, but we have videos talking about Gusto, which is an amazing payroll service. I absolutely love using Gusto. It's one of my favorites I've experienced with for uh, my wife's small business. So what we're gonna do now is actually jump over uh, to the next area. But before we actually do that, um, if we look on the left-hand side here, actually, let me go ahead and I got to move my computer here a little bit. Okay. So right over here, you're going to see like the dashboard, which is where we're at now. They have banking sales. If you do that, you can look at your cash flow. You can go to directly to your expenses. If you decide to do payroll with them, you have that same thing with the time management. Um, the other big one is reports. This is where you're going to be able to see your um, balance 
sheet um, and you'll also be able to see your profit and loss in greater detail um, and I'll actually go in there and show you and then the really nice thing is um, you have a section for my accountant so you can have like your tax accountant and your bookkeeper uh, be able to log in and you know do the things that they need to do uh, directly from the app as well too so it saves so much time having them have access to their portion of what they can do so what we're gonna do now is actually switch over to the expense category here um, so we can go ahead and see kind of how all of that looks like on that end. All right, so here on the expense side, um, this is just a kind of quick overview because we want to go into the more important stuff. But here you can just see all your expenses. Um, you can see the date, of course. Uh, it is an expense, so that's the type. Uh, you can see the payee, uh, the category, uh, if you already have it all uh, set together, and then the total uh, that each thing costs as well too. So you can go in here and kind of fiddle with things if needed to. You can um, add uh, new transactions. It's kind of up here um, on the side. Perfect, there we go. Just had to move that out of the way. So if you need to add something in manually, you can do that. Um, but most of this is all just pulled in from online. So um, it's just pulling from our banks directly. So next, what we're gonna do is actually go into the banking because this is kind of the bigger portion of what we do here with uh, using QuickBooks online. All right, so here on this page, this is probably the biggest section that you're gonna utilize the most when it comes to QuickBooks online. And so I'll kind of break down kind of what we see here again. Anything in this like blue stuff, oh, that's a big blue thing right there. But anything in the blue here uh, that you're gonna see, this is just all private stuff that you know we wanna make sure we keep protected on ourselves. Um, so just bear that in mind and I do appreciate being patient with that. So uh, essentially what this is, this is all the banks that we've had connected. So you can see uh, right over here, we have like the Spark credit card, we have the uh, the Wells Fargo's right over here and here, we've got the BBVA accounts uh, right over here. And then we also have a few more that are kind of off screen here that you can toggle through. Now, all of these are, again, connected automatically for us. There is an update button if we wanted to uh, update them to make sure that they're as relevant as possible. But essentially what this is going to be doing for us is this is where we actually categorize everything into our business so that way our accountants and our tax accountants can actually do everything uh, for us that we need to make sure that, you know, uh, everything is labeled properly for tax purposes. So uh, right here as an example, so with the Spark credit card, this is where we do a lot of our expenses. And if uh, if you're interested in a business credit card, that one is a great one. I'll link actually to them in the show notes too, if you want to check them out. Uh, we get like one and a half percent on everything back, which is nice. So you can see uh, it shows like what the bank account is um, currently. So, you know, that's blah, blah, blah. And then what it is in QuickBooks based off of what we've, you know, finalized and everything too. Um, this number right here just indicates how many items are still left to be categorized. So that kind of gives us a heads up like, you know, oh, there's quite a bit. Let's start getting taken. Let's get that taken care of, um, which is all of that down here. So everything you see here um, in this sector right here, I'm going to kind of like put it in this area. Everything down here uh, this is where it is from Spark uh, credit card. So you'll, you'll see all these dates right here, like the 14th, the 12th, the 11th. Um, so those are the dates of the transactions. That's the description um, from the transaction. And then the payee, which usually is the same thing. So like as an example, if we bought something from you know Amazon, the payee is Amazon. Um, and then the really important part is the category or match. So the reason there's kind of some in green and some in just like you know black and... Uh, well, I guess it's just black and green with the only two colors that just indicates uh, sometimes like different uh, rules that are uh, being uh, put into place. Uh, so this one already knows that it's uh, going to be a refund or a discount. This one uh, indicates that it's getting transferred. Uh, this one right here, obviously, it's thinking that it's going to be a meal uh, because QuickBooks is trying to figure out if it knows what it's trying, what you're trying to uh, put it towards in a category to kind of save you some time. Um, then, of course, we have something like cost of goods sold. Uh, we also have like travel. We also have advertising and marketing. So we have a lot of different categories that we put them in. Uh, these numbers in, in front, this is just something our accountant does to kind of help keep track. I don't know why I actually closed that off there. So I was trying to actually, I should circle this. So like that 5,000, that's just a number that our accountant uses to kind of help, yeah, quickly go through stuff and, and get a good idea of where everything belongs and, and whatnot. So it actually makes it really easy for us to when needing to do that. So in this account, this again is everything expense wise. Uh, there is another account that we have all of our income coming in. So that would be categorized as, you know, income. So it would be, you know, under the received where most of this is under the spent category. And then you can see here, um, let me actually move my screen again, just a tiny bit. 
make sure it's there for us. So you can see the action right over here, um, and you'll see the word like add or like credit card payment. Um, and once everything looks good, so if you look at like the date, the description, and the category that it's being put in, um, you can click the add button and it does it automatically. If things don't look great, what you can do is you can click on this category here or this section in general, and then you can change up what category this goes into. So if this wasn't a discount or a refund, you can change it to what it is. If this doesn't end up being a meal slash entertainment, you can change it to something else, and then you can click on add. Once it's added, it goes into the categorized sector right over here. So that way, when you are looking at that earlier page where it shows you the profit and loss, it'll have all that there. And then if you actually go to your full on profit and loss, it'll actually break that down, which is what we're going to move on to next after this. But um, like I said, so this is going to have all of your stuff where you're going to go through and, you know, check everything off. So that way you're keeping all things tracked. And when your accountant is going through and reconciling, uh, this is going to help the process immensely making sure that you have this all taken care of. So now what we're going to do is actually move over to the reports so you guys can see what that looks like. So we won't stay on this page for too long. Uh, so this is what reports kind of looks like here. Uh, I know this screen's kind of like in the middle here, but uh, you know, so we have our favorited uh, ones right up here, which is accounts receivable uh, by aging summary. Uh, we also have balance sheet and profit and loss. And as we scroll down here, you can see tons of different ones uh, that you can go through. So they have so many different reports. As long as you're going through and categorizing everything and putting everything through, you can see all these different types of reports. Really makes things easy for you and manageable so you can get a really good idea. Uh, obviously, the balance sheet is really important and so is the profit and loss. And when you go in there, you can actually go through and categorize it for like year to date. You can look at last year, last quarter, whatever else you need to see and get a really good idea. You could even break it down for the whole year or you could even break it down by month. And I'll actually see if I can take you quickly through and maybe hide some important information but show you guys a gist of what this area kind of looks like. All right, so I did go into the profit and loss and right now it is currently uh, going up to date. Uh, obviously, this is only including things that we actually finalized in the uh, banking section that we showed you where you had to kind of categorize everything. So once everything is categorized, Right here, this is set up for the whole year. Um, obviously, these numbers over here are all blocked off. Um, and then up here is just the name of the business. Uh, and then you can see like the sales that we have. You can see the cost of goods sold. Um, and then you can see all the expenses after that as well too. So you can go with like the advertising, the banking fees, the uh, uh, car and truck, insurance, meals, all these different things. And you'll be able to uh, go over here. And the nice thing is the dollar amount will actually have a, a portion where you can click on. So it's like a hyperlink. And then it'll take you into a more detailed information of that category. So you can kind of get a, an idea. So if you're like looking at this and you're saying, whoa, for some reason, our postage is like way up, like way higher than expected. You can click on there and see, okay, does something get miscategorized or, you know, was there actually big charges and, you know, can you do something about that? It gives you a really good understanding of kind of where you are. But again, uh, this is so far year to date setup, but you can do it for like the last quarter, the current quarter, you could do it for last year. There's a lot of different time variables that you can have. So you can get a really good indication of where you are in your business. So that way you can see, you know, what your total expenses are, what your operating income is, and what your net income is as well, which obviously is very important stuff to know when you're running your business because you know when you have all this stuff set in place and you get a really good indication of how you're doing, it really helps you kind of move forward in there as well. And using this for our business has been a pretty big game changer not just for us being able to see our profit and loss, but obviously also running our taxes as well for the uh, for the tax time because it's a headache already, but without this, I think it would just be un unsustainable to be able to do it efficiently and, you know, making sure that we are getting as the getting our best deductions possible in that as well, too. So I was also able to bring up the balance sheet again. Oop, this is as of uh, May 25th, uh, as just an example here for us as well, too. Um, obviously, a lot of this stuff is really highlighted in here because it is a little bit more of our information. So uh, but you can get an idea of. So here it shows you like your assets it shows um, your current assets. Yeah, your your banks and everything uh, you can see down here. It also shows like your liabilities. 
um, so you can kind of get an idea of you know how everything is looking all of this would be your totals and then at the very bottom here you would actually get your like total balance of how everything is from your assets minus your liabilities and then what your total like net worth is for the business effectively um, for you know this given time period as well too but again it's just it's a little bit more of just a blanket idea of what it can look like for you again you can also manage this by you know the quarter by the year uh, year to date whatever you know thing works best for you so like i said if you want to check them out i'll have that link for you in the show notes down below it does help support us out uh, but you also do get that nice 50 dollars gift card and also too you get half off for your subscription as well too uh, it's something that we pay for but it is a great expense to have for our business because it helps us run everything so much smoother now if you want to actually learn more about that payroll service that i was talking to you about earlier go ahead and check out gusto right over here so you can learn more about that in those processes. My name is Dennis, and I'll see you in that next video.